Hello everyone, how are you? Let's continue the let's play for Bravely Default for the sequel. And this time I have my charger plug-in so that way <laughs> the battery won't die in the middle of our recording. Anyway, let's begin. PlayStation! Square Enix Tomodachi o Takusan Tsukuro Well, level 41 already I'm, and I'm only chapter 3 Maybe I'll be level 99 by the end of the game. Stato! Oh yeah. I got a new job. I'm going to give it to Aniasen. But first... Save singing MP. Lower the MP cost of singing by 50%. Love power. Require MP. 30? Whoa. Raises all targets physical attack by 25% for 4 turns. The upper limit for physical attack is 150%. Let's see the stat changes. My HP will, will go down, my MP2 and my intelligence and my will go down a lot. But I'll be able to handle a lot of weapons a lot better. And armor too. So, oh well. Yeah, I'm Kawaii. Yes. Sateto. Neto. Defender. Sleep Bredo. Misery Sword. Oh, Nani Kore Since you're going to heal, I guess I'm going to get staff. Staff. Mitral staff. Jade crosshair. Staff of life. Oh. Sage staff. Oak and Paul, Simeon Staff, Iron Paul, Silver Staff, I guess the Staff of Life. Eto. Well, the Blessed Shield raises my magic defense a lot. But it doesn't raise my mind. Sixty-five. 
Dark Corslet. How much money do I have? Not that much. Let's go to town to heal. And then we can finally move on with the story. Taisetsu na mono. Sega anata no kokoro ga motomete. Love power. Yo, what? Judgmento. Yeah. Level up. Love rush. What is this? It's delicious. Raises all targets' speed by twenty-five percent for four turns. Guess I'm gonna go by whatever I miss. A main main gauge. I wonder if a uh, white robe will help Anisu with her healing. 
it will lower her defense though. Tai Okay, so let's go to wherever we have to go. Utilizado. Ya. Level up. Utilizado. Ah! 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 Ah!
の鉱山で働かされているのかうんそうだけど僕らは立て派の要請で君たちを救出しに来たんだ立て派のでもサボってるとあいつらに何されるか大丈夫もうそんな心配はしなくていいよ鉱山内には何人くらいの子供がいる今日の当番は全部で20いや今は19人ありがとうじゃあ君は他の子たちと一緒にそこの納屋に隠れているんだいい分かったよ同じか大切なものそれがあなたの心を求めているいつも大事サンダーレベルアップレイスイスワンターゲットターゲット BP バイワン。Treasure chest here. ん僕たちは立て派から依頼を受けて君たちを助けに来たんだあうんありがとう。
किया था एक्सपो Carbonco. Drain point. Scope. Oh, yeah, boss.
Ja. Ja, war. Ma. Sag doch nicht. よしあと14人僕たちは立て派から依頼を受けて君たちを助けに来たんだあここから出られるのやったー It's a drum. Uh, sorry. Gross. なんだこいつミチュアルショーハルなんだ倒したことないんだブレインポイントスコープ Yes. Yeah. 大切なもの、それがあなたの心が求めている。素直、もちろん、忘れないでください。あと12人僕たちは立て派から依頼を受けて君たちを助けに来たんだ
ありがとう Tete, level up. Got your back. Black white magic level four. Oh, it's a ruin. Sanda. よし、あと十人。僕たちは立て派から依頼を受けて君たちを助けに来たんだ。あ、ありがとう。
ャンプ依頼を受けて君たちを助けに来たんだあありがとう3 more treasure chests to go to おいやばっ Finally.
しい時ブレインポイントスコープから依頼を受けて君たちを助けに来たんだあ,ありがとうエーテルドライブやば
てれってってレベルアップキーツイヨーハートガッドユーバックレイスオールターゲットフィジカルディフェンスフォー 25% フォー4トゥーンズキーツイヨーハート Key to your heart. Require MP12. Raises all targets' magic defense by 25% for four turns. The upper limit for magic defense is 間違えた。依頼を受けて君たちを助けに来たんだあありがとう
finally. やばっ<笑>忘れちゃった。
Get ta. Under this bitch. Tere te te, level up. Yes, modoro. Level up. Ten percent to the stat raising effects you receive. I'll subtract ten percent from stat lowering effects. Here. 
じゃあそうするかジャッジメントリリスのキース
Yo. ハリは全部倒したからもう大丈夫すぐに立て派の人たちが迎えに来るから安心してありがとうでもエイギルが新入りのエイギルがエイギル今朝方剣派のアジトに連れて行かれちゃったまま戻ってこないんだ連れて行かれたどうしてエギルは最近鉱山内で抜け穴を見つけたって僕らに言いふらしていたんだ作業を抜け出しては抜け穴に行ってたみたいだしそれで見張りの人たちを怒らせちゃったのかもねえお願いだ
How much money do I have? I guess there isn't much more for me to buy. Oh wait, that means I can buy magic now. Gravity. Fade. Sroga. Soste. E Aurora. Disper. Desper. To Diferek. That also means the honest doesn't know how to. Doesn't know magic, white magic level 4, so I have to teach her. Ringabero already has level 4 time magic, so it's okay. Glossy was level 3, time magic that I got, not level 4. By the way, let's check this journal. It's been really a long while since I last checked it. That's it, led us to Hart's ch Child, town of the shield bearers. After meeting the wife of Commander Goodman, I caught a glimpse of a slender woman of great beauty. I asked her name, but perhaps too shy, she did not answer. She fled, and I pursued her. In a corner of town, she caught me off guard with a sharp, rack, with a sharp whack and gave me the slip. Talk about playing hard to get. A sullen mood hung over us as we sailed the inner sea. Then, out of nowhere, Idea offered an apology. She told us she knew the Arcanist Victoria, who murdered the water vestal Olivia, and that she was the daughter of the Grand Marshal, head of the Council of Six. This shocking revelation only deepened the tension between us.
We left the house by the sea, but in route to the shield bearer's headquarters, we encountered Sword Master Kami Izumi. If Idea had not sensed danger and pushed Aniesu to the ground, her life may have been forfeit. forfeit? The master and his former disciple exchanged heated words, ending only with news that the sword bearer's attack had failed. Dotsu Shield bearer, a bulky man who waited in the house by the sea for Dotsu to return from, gra from ground ship, skilled at ship navigation, among other things. A 26-year-old man from the Asian region. He is a corporal in the Shield Bearers and grew up with Ratsu in a village near the old house. Despite his large frame, he has great manual dexterity and is very attentive and friendly. Likes hard salami, dark ale. Dislikes small animals. Ratsu, Shield Bearer. A shield bearer envoy who came to Grandship from Warthorn Eisenberg to ask for aid. We took him with us to Eisenberg. A 26 year old man from, Eisen, from the Eisen region. A corporal in the shield bearers. He is as nimble and dex dexterous as he appears. He grew up with Datsu in a village near the house by the sea and they both went on to join the shield bearers. Likes cheese with holes, oi, dislikes cats, <laughs> big animals. Swordmaster Kami Izumi, Black Blade's leader, a master of all forms of swordplay. He taught Edea and gifted her with his favorite blade for her first campaign. A 45 year old man from Eternia, his full name is Nobutsuna Kami Izumi, and he holds the Swordmaster Asterisk. He is known far and wide as a formidable warrior and a great little leader. Likes bitter tea, sweet bean soup. Dislikes cowardice, all forms of alcohol. We left the house by the sea and that's it led us towards Asian Bridge where the shield bearers have their, their headquarters. Then the sword master attacked us out of nowhere. It appears we ran into his force by chance while they were on another mission. After ex exchanging a few words with Idea, he withdrew hastily to save the sword bearer's troops from being routed. As we investigated Grab Keep at the shield bearer's request, we overheard the sword master and Kada talking. We learned that the master sample of a toxic weapon was kept there. It's used for beating by the sword master. We also heard that Kada had used the toxin against the sword master's wishes, polluting the land for three years. We took the sample and headed back. Captain Barbarossa, Black Blades, first mate of the Black of first mate of the Black Blades. He fought alongside Commander Kamiizumi for years, and his free-spirited personality makes him well liked. A 35-year-old man from Caldisla. His name is Heredin Barbarossa, holder of the pirate Asterisk. Uncommonly strong, he can spin his massive axe around like a windmill. Likes, axes, rum, barrels of apples. Dislikes, poor weather, lulls in the wind, choppy seas. While sailing the Sea of Corsairs, we spotted a suspicious looking ship surrounded by ominous fog. After boarding it, we found it to be the ghost ship of Captain Barbarossa and his spirit crew, prowling the open seas. Though he is our foe, foe he hearty, his hearty laugh and the tale of his quest for adventure made me root for him a little. Kada, the salt maker. Black plates. Three years ago, he developed a toxin weapon and used it in battle against the Swordmaster's orders. He is now tasked with the cleanup. A 46-year-old man who hails from Eternia. His name is Kada, and he holds the Salt Maker Asterisk. He is quick to forget his own mistakes and obligations. 
but holds on to grudges and clings to his major achievements, likes experiments, research, praise, dislikes, patience, strict superiors. Kada is responsible for the civil war in Eisenberg dragging on so long. He used a forbidden toxic weapon out of cowardice, slaughtering 100,000 shield bearers and sword bearer soldiers. The area became an uninhabitable un wasteland for over three years, much to his char chagrin. Much to, hi much to his chagrin, he was ordered to clean up the mess and treat the wounded soldiers. Purim, diva of the battlefield, Black Blades. Station, stationed at Asian Bridge, where the shield bearers and sword bearers are locked in battle, she uses song to bolster her fan club. A 17 year old girl from, from Florem, she goes by the name Purin Aramodo and carries her the performer Astarisk. She is a battlefield diva and tends to ad lib her way through life without thinking too much. Likes cheering, throat lo lozenges, what's that? Dislikes boring people, fresh cream. On the trail of a legendary bard, we visit the pupils, 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 whatever, he had talk, taught, who were scattered around the world. The shield bearer soldiers remember the secrets to singing that Arcapella had left behind. They drowned out Purin song with their chorus, defeating her. She discarded her microphone, saying she will return to being a normal girl. Shieldbearer Commander Daniel Goodman, Shieldbearers, leader of the be be basic, basic Shieldbearers in war torn Eisenberg. He cares greatly for his troops and his wife, and is very popular. A 42 year old man from the heart style, husband of Eleanor. Whom, whom he loves dearly. He comes from one of Hartshall's more distinguished families and enjoys wide, widespread support from both his subordinates and the, general, and the general populace due to his gentle and sincere nature. Likes his wife's cooking. Dislikes rations, false rumors. That took us to the Shield Bearers Command post at Asian Bridge where we met Commander Daniel Goodman, sworn to protect the orthodoxy, he treated the wind vessel Anisu with utmost respect. Despite his rank, he spoke with humility and seemed to have a good neighbor demeanor. He gave us permission to so sojourn, sojourn in Hartschild, a stronghold of the shield bearers. We headed to the shield bearers command post to report on the toxic mist we had been asked to investigate. Investigate, sorry. We gave the commander the toxic, the toxic sample the sword bearers had in storage, and he asked his medical team to use it to create a neutralizing agent. However, Anius wanted it destroyed, and he complied with her wishes, perhaps a surprising choice for a military man. A chorus of shield bearers singers helped us repel battlefield diva Purin, who was ca causing chaos at, Bri at the Asian Bridge, from light through his disruptive songs. Commander Goodman was elated at the news. Apparently, they later had problems with soldiers who remained charmed, and others that broke into dance, cheered, or started moving in sync with enemy soldiers. No, I'm sorry. Eleanor Goodman, shield bearers, Commander's Goodman wife, who waits for him patiently in his residence in Hartschild. She seems just as good natured as her husband. A 38 year old woman from Hartschild. She comes from a good family like her husband and has been married for 15 years, although they have no children. Both she and her husband are well liked for their congenial nature, likes potato gratin, her husband's favorite, dislikes 
an empty home. At the Shield Bear's command post, Commander Goodman gave us permission to stay in Hart's Child. Led by Datsu, we were greeted by Goodman's lovely wife. She said as companions of the Wind Vestal, we will, will, we will be guests of state. Apparently, she made an excellent home cook meal, despite the wartime rationing. For personal reasons, I was not able to try it. Srayman Barbarossa's friend. Now deceased, now deceased, he once sought the Susano O abroad, the SS Funky Francisca. Barbarossa, commander of the naval forces of the Black Plates, continues this quest to honor Sreyman, Sreyman, Sreyman's dying wish. He sells the seas in the SS Funky Francisca which is now a ghost ship. Arcapellar, legendary bard, now deceased, he was a bard of renown from Grand Ship. Knowing his days were numbered, he passed on his secrets to pu pupils, pu pupils, pupils around the world. He spent his final days teaching shield bearers children in Eisenberg the joy of song. These teachings are still passed on today. Asian region. The desolate land of Eisenberg, battered by brutal civil war and the mightiest volcanoes in Luxembourg, takes its name from their ancient term for Iron Mountain. Town, town of Hartschild. Hartschild. The town is now the shield bearers stronghold, but before the civil war it was a flourishing city. The eruption of Mount Karka swallowed the sad road to the Temple of Fire, and boiling lava creeps towards the outskirts of town. Asian Bridge This bridge spanning the Great Rift at the center of Eisenberg is the front line in the devastating civil war. The sword bearers seek to swiftly end the war by bringing large web weaponry across, while the shield bears have dug in to prevent this. Misurito Mines Misurito Mine Producing primarily mitral ore, this mine at the foot of Mount Karka was captured by the sword bears a few years back. It is said that young boys are being captured and forced to work at the mine. Grab Keep a sword bearer, fort sword bearer fort built upon the battlefield where the deadly poison weapon, toxic mist, was used four years ago, but it was not erected for military purposes. Rather, the facility's purpose is to prevent the toxic spread and to conduct research on how to neutralize it. Stark Fork oh. Lair of the Sword Bearers Star Fork, a fort in non northern Eisenberg, once stationed 100,000 shield bearer soldiers. It has been the base of operation for the sword bearers since their sudden uprising four years ago. House by the Sea that, that, Datsu, Datsu and Datsu used this abandoned house when trying to recruit help from Grand Ship. People and supplies are ferried in from their from ships anchor in the bay. Captain's log. Day 96 of the search. This marks the last patch of sea west of Anheim to be explored. It's been near a hundred days since we found what remains our only clue. Day 148 of the search. The water south of Kaldisla, east of Eisenberg, and now most of the Sea of Corsairs can be scratched off the list as well. Day 828 of the search. Susano O eludes me still. Two years, my promise to Mephilia has gone unfulfilled. Day 1329 of the search. More blood in my handkerchief this morning. I fear I haven't long. Dearest Mephilia, 
The Sea of Corsairs is Day 2 after taking up the search I found the funky Francisca be calmed I boarded her and saw Srayman Shiver it, man, why didn't you tell me? But if his dog says this Susano is in the Sea of Corsairs, I'll find it Just wait, old friend, I'll lay your soul to rest Terms. Never-ending civil war, shield bearers and sword bearers. Both groups are said to have originated as mi Mirish Milchas, organized to protect the fire vestal, but in time they came to rule Eisenberg. The shield bearers maintained their traditional role as defenders of the fire temple and its vestal, while the sword bearers evolved into a force for vanquishing enemies attacking from beyond their borders. Shield bearers, drawn primarily from the ranks of devout crystallists, the shield bearers are Eisenberg's official military force. They suffered a bitter defeat in the sword bearers' sudden bloody uprising, which was aided by a powerful mercenary force, arms from forge forging lands, and the use of a toxic mist weapon. The group is now commanded by Daniel Goodman who is barely holding back the sword bearers advance across the Asian bridge. Sword bearers The group whose bloody uprising four years ago sparked Asenberg's civil war. With the aid of a foreign mercenary group, they quickly took control of half of Asenberg. Commanded by Yu Yu Yumeyer Astrae Sane. Their ranks include many an anti-crystallists. This has caused some to view Eisenberg's internal strife as more of a religious war, pitting the mostly anti-crystallist sword bearers against the shield bearers, whose ranks include many devout crystallists. Canary boys, forced to work in sword bearers' occupied mines, these young boys are so named because they are used to detect poisonous gas before it can do harm to others, much like canaries in a coal mine. The sword bearers are few in number, I have, I have found these mostly docile, 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 young boys are, easy, are easily controlled with just a few guards. They were in deplorable conditions, extracting mi mitril ore and the extremely rare metal or a from deep within the earth. Pantheon's Wrath, a metal sphere of roaring thunder that is said to contain the wrath of countless gods from the Age of Myths, deals major lighting damage to all enemies or allies. Earth Drum, a conch shell containing the thunderous sound of the titans, a race of giants that are said to be, that are said to have opposed the gods in the Age of Myths, deals moderate air damage to all enemies or allies. Stardust, summons a group of meteors wandering the galaxy to rain down on the designated target, effect of comet on target. Fulgiston, a strange substance in a suspicious looking sealed flask. It is said that the substance is released when burning some sort of material, but exactly which material remains a mystery, can be used in compounding. Defender, a thick sword made for, for both high attack power and ease of defense. Simply equipping it slightly raises defense. This makes it an effective weapon for raising the, def the defense of those ill suited for using shields. Effect when equipped plus physical defense. Viking Axe, an unrefined but practical axe for ballast on board ships. A favorite of pirates, its dual axe head makes it easy to wield. 
Even in chaotic battles, it deals the most damage against aquatic monsters. War Axe An axe forged in the best possible shape for use in battle. Designed by a famous weaponsmith in Florem, its handle features wave-like patterns and other embellishments that speak of the playfulness of the people of that land. Halberd, a polearm with a small axe blade below its sharp spearhead, and opposite that a bladed hook, enable the weapon to be used for slashing, thrusting, striking and hooking, even today where soldiers are heavily armored and cannon use has spread through the lands, halberds are a common weapon for of many armies. Glaive, a polearm believed to have originated when some sort of blade or knife was affixed to the end of a long shaft. Refined through the ages, it came to resemble a large bladed spear tip that even neophytes of the battlefield could wield with deadly effect. Oh. Staff of Life Imbued with the power of healing, this staff was developed through the white magic studies conducted at Everlast Tower. Raising it up and chanting bestows the cure effect on desired targets. Effect when equipped, plus mine. Effect when used, cure. Main gouts. The name of this dagger comes from the term left hand. It is used as a secondary weapon in combination with a long sword, the main weapon. It features a large guard and provides a boost to evasion comparable to equi equipping a shield. Effect when equipped plus evasion. Ho. Oh. Kunai. A stealthy weapon from the land of Wa, a mysterious island nation that vanished centuries ago. It is believed to be a kind of shuriken that was the preferred weapon of, of a school of ninjas known as the Koga. Effect when equipped plus evasion. Katana, Osafune, a masterpiece made by a swordsmith from the land of Wa which vanished centuries ago. It is forged from material steel in place of the special steel he usually used. The secret of its making was passed on from master to apprentice down to the present day. Large Shield An imm immense shield of tough toe Tough wood reinforced with steel mesh for added strength. It is meant mainly for defeating, uh, for defending against arrow and spear volleys. Its large size makes it impractical for melee combat. Orihalcum helm. A costly helm covered in ultra thin sheets of orihalcum, a rare metal mine from Eisen me mine in Eisenberg. Orihalcum is so hard that even thin sheets make for a helm that is far stronger and lighter than one made of steel. Holy meter, a tall hat worn at ceremonies and rituals by clergy of high standing. It features an elegant pattern em embroidered with gold and silver threads. While, while it does not offer much in the way of physical protection, it does boost magic defenses. 
Effect when equipped, plus magic attack, plus mind. Black Cowl. A jet black hood said to have been worn by the ninja, a shadowy group that originated in the land of Wa, a mysterious island nation that vanished centuries ago. Effect when equipped, plus evasion. Ori Halcum Mail. Costly armor cover Costly Armor Cover in Ultra Thin Sheets of Ori Halcum. A rare metal mine in Eisenberg. Ori Halcum is so hard that even thin sheets of it make for armor that is far stronger and lighter that than that made of steel. White Robe. A mystic robe made of mitral steel thread. Stretch it as thin as it can be, and then interwoven with bright white silk. It is said to heighten its wearer's mind and amplify magic recovery. Effect when equipped, plus magic attack, plus mind. Star Corslet Stage where into which the spirit of successive generations of performers have been woven into the lining. It has the effect of sweeping away pre-performance -pre jitters and making performers think back to their hope and dream feeling debut. Effect when equipped plus HP. Accessory. Force armlets. A metal armlet carved with the original spell of creation. Say to enumerate everything under the sun. No one has yet discovered the type of metal from which it was made. Effect when equipped plus mind. Earth Charm. A charm bestowed best best upon devout followers of crystallism. It was made at the temple of earth and is carved with the runes for earth and land. Effect when equipped resist earth. Light Charm, a charm bestowed upon the bad followers of crystallism. It was made at the Orthodox's head temple and is carved with a room for light. Effect when equipped, resist light. Black Blade. A swordman of the black blades armed with a curved blade shining with an eldritch glow. He uses Edge of Madness to sow confusion. Black Pikeman. This spearman of the black blades must be attacked with care, for a physical attack on him will be met with a painful counter. Black Axe Fighter. An axeman of the black blades whose fierce shell split attack also lowers physical defense. Beast. Baltora. This tiger like monster inhabits hot, arid regions. The chomp attack it delivers with razor sharp fangs has the potential to kill its prey in a single strike. Carbuncle. This strange little creature uses the power of a jewel within its body to perform magic. It supports its allies with powerful white magic but its Earoga attack is also dangerous. Sea Serpent A giant sea snake with sharp spikes on its tail. Few seafarers live to tell of the beast's tail shock, which paralyzes the body before the monster goes in for the kill. Mad Shark this vicious shark attacks sailors with its countless saw-like teeth and uses terror fangs to strike fear into its victim. victims. Mithril Shell This huge turtle evolved in mithril mines, and while its, a its attack pattern is the same as the land turtle, its physical attack and physical defense are elevated by the power of mithril ore. Box. Soil Eater. 
a giant worm that eats and fertilizes Luxembourg's soil. Watch out for its earthquake attack, which strikes all its foes. Your best protection is some way to reduce earth attacks. Dead stalkers. This vicious scorpions. This vicious scorpion hurts its prey in packs. Using pheromone plus to attract two allies. Try to defeat it before it can summon help. Dead pirate. These former pirates who plunder across the sea of corsairs are now zombies with double damage axe attacks that is as powerful as when they still lived. Zombie Knight. These fallen soldiers are now are now zombies that still use shield bash, an attack they train hard for while alive. A direct hit from it paralyzes the body. Ghost. This disembodied spirit of a dead man who held a terrible grudge uses fear to strike dread into its foe and curse to lower physical attack and physical defense. Bone Knight. These animated skeletons of ancient knights use mass attack to attack all at once and flesh flyer flyer to instantly half a foe's HP. Bone Lancer. An ancient spearman reanimated by a dark power. Keep an eye on your remaining HP, for its bone smash is dangerous if your HP is running low. Running low. Bone Hunter. An ancient archer reanimated by a dark power. While its attack does not deal much damage, watch out for its poison shot. Demon kind. Succubus. Flying through the air on black wings, this alluring little demon uses entis and ties to make victims do as she says which is not always bad if you like that sort of thing. No, I'm sorry. Automaton. Developed by the Eternian forces, this mechanical soldier uses rocket punch to strike all its foes. Limiter resistance to raise physical attack and self-repair to recover HP. He never used that against me to recover his HP. Put in. This bubbly bearer of the performer Asterisk is a teamwork pro. She uses her singing to dramatically raise her ally's physical attack and increase VP, then attack and mass. Barbarossa. This hearty bearer of the pirate's asterisk is a master of reducing enemy stats. He uses shell split to lower physical defense and defang to lower physical attack. That's all for now, till next time, bye.